It's so easy to watch other people pursuing their dreams. It's so easy to watch other people and talk about them and say, ha ha, look what they did wrong, look what they did wrong, they messed up, ah, look at them fall, that's so funny. But the issue with that is if you're watching somebody else fall, then you're not playing the game of your own life. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. What's going on, family? And as you know, okay, we're getting ready to come into the end of a year and the beginning of another, okay? So understanding that, I want to talk a little bit about how we can accomplish a podcast goals, right? I'm Jonathan Jones. I'm the host of the Your Podcast Mentor Show. And I wanted to share with you this framework that I used while doing a speaking engagement a few years ago. But as I was going back, looking at it, listening to it, thinking about how can I give you a clear strategy to achieve and to really dominate your goals going into 2022, your podcast goals, your, your family goals are even your spiritual goals, business goals, whatever it might be, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. And then after the clip, after you hear the breakdown, I want you to begin to take some time, right? And I want you to think, list out like three to four columns. Like, where does this apply in my life? How can I apply this formula in business? How can I apply this formula in my family life? How can I apply this formula in my relationship or even with my partner, right? So I'm going to go ahead and and roll the clip. And then after, I want you really to just pause and think for a second. How can I truly grow? But most importantly, how can I make sure that I tap into squeezing all of the life and all of the juice out of this lemon in 2022? Let's go ahead and play the clip. The blueprint to success. The formula broken down, it looks like this. The D, we're talking about foundation. The D starts with everybody. This is the tangible application part. Someone's like, John, I didn't get any notes. I didn't get nothing. Well, this is the tangible part. The D, make a decision. Make a decision. Somebody might say, John, I can't achieve my goals. I can't get to where I want to. You have to make a decision on what you want first. The second part of the blueprint. The passion. Yes, this is a saw. It's not a power saw because I don't want to get in trouble with Mr. Freeze or anybody else. But it's a saw. The saw represents the passion. Just like I told you off, you're struggling to start a conversation with somebody else. Identify what your passion is. For the person in the back of the room who says, John, I don't know what my passion is. I've never thought about it. Well, take some time. And identify what that thing is that gets you emotional. It gets you riled up. You get so excited to do this in the morning. What's that passion that's driving you? Because once we make a decision to commit and then we add the passion, that's like putting gas in your car. It gets us going. Strategy, 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 strategy. How do I create a strategy, John? I would advise you to connect with somebody who's doing what you want to do. I know this is like the social media generation for all of us, right? This social media. If you can find that person on social media or even if they have any type of social media, you can follow them and just watch what some people do. That's the easy version. Or you can reach out to them. See if somebody's willing to be your mentor. Seeing if you can follow in some steps that they've taken, seeing what worked for them, seeing what books they read, different stuff like that. Develop a strategy. And then lastly, this was my favorite part. The action. It's so easy to watch other people pursuing their dreams. It's so easy to watch other people and talk about them and say, look what they did wrong. Look what they did wrong. They messed up. Ah, look at them fall. That's so funny. But the issue with that is if you're watching somebody else fall, then you're not playing the game of your own life. If you're too busy on the sidelines of a game, you're not in the middle of the action. 
So you have to make a decision. You have to commit to that process. You add in your passion because you began to take that passion and then that ultimately helps you put together a strategy because you're excited about something. You're like, oh my goodness, John had me close my eyes. He had me envision a house. Man, this is so exciting. Then you open your eyes and you say, wow, I saw the house. I'm at the blueprint. What can I begin to fill in the middle? How can I fill in the space? How can I fill in the blanks? What does that look like? And then once you put that strategy together, then you take your action. And we all have the ability to do all of these things because I created this formula and I hate math, but I figured that it might help somebody else out. So I said, this might be, this might be beneficial. So the blueprint to success, the blueprint to life, honestly, if we just weave in these things, I don't feel that there's an area that this doesn't apply. If you're studying nursing, if you're a high school student getting ready to transition to college, even if we're adult learners and even if we're grown, like we're grown, grown, like we have bills and all that other stuff, we can still apply this stuff and this will work for a business plan. So today I want to I want to just challenge you all just in that. Just take some time and just be able to identify what will best serve you going through this particular blueprint. Because when we began to apply this, like I said, it works. It works. Great, great, great. OK, so now as you just heard me go through and break down the D. Right. For make a decision. You, you heard me come back and break down the P for talking about the passion and then the strategy that we need to begin to put in place. And then lastly, what's the actions that we will take in order to achieve this goal? Once again, let, let me let me just lay this thing out. Let me let me just get clear. Right. Let me just underscore strategy just for a second. And I want to underscore strategy because for me going into 2022, the goal for me is this. It's plain and simple. The goal for one is becoming uncomfortable. What does that look like in my marriage? That looks like me doing things that I necessarily don't want to do, but need to get done when they come up, when my wife asks me about them. That's one. So now I'm killing procrastination any chance I get. If I know the trash needs to be taken out, I don't keep throwing stuff in there and then running and running and waiting to not throw the trash out. Now I just grab the trash and go throw it out because I'm creating a sense of urgency in my life. So not only in my marriage, but then also in my business, what can I do right now that will help me be 1% better tomorrow? One, I can start doing more podcast recordings in a certain set amount of time because then I can edit them up, chop them up, clip them up, and then have ample time to promote and to share the content, right? That's strategy. So what is it that you're going to make a decision about going into 2022? Then what passion do you have that you can apply to the decision that you made so that you can be a better person, not just achieve the goal, but to hit the goal but then making sure once you do that, you've not just made a goal and checked another box, but now you've became a different person. And then the strategy, like I said, we got to plug and play on the strategy. Try different strategies out. See what works here. See what works there. If it doesn't eat the meat, throw away the bones. And then the fourth one is the action. You got to put the action behind the decision, behind the passion and behind the strategy because we can draw up a strategy all day but if we don't ever apply anything then we can't expect to truly be able to capitalize on our goals and on the opportunity that's ahead of us which is becoming a better person all right so family if you're listening on youtube or if you're watching on youtube i would encourage you make sure to hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell drop me a comment down in the comment box to let me know what you took away and also, what's your goals for 2022? Comment down below. I want to I wanna see. I want to talk to you. I want to engage and interact with you. Also, if you're listening on Spotify, 
make sure that you give the podcast a full episode listen and then leave us a rating because now Spotify has opened up the doors to doing something that Apple was previously just doing before, right? So there's Apple and there's Podchaser, but now there's Spotify who's been investing a lot of money into podcasting and into the podcast experience. So if you listen on Spotify, I'd encourage you just to give it a listen and then give it a rate after you listen to the complete episode. But family, we're going to get ready to get out of here. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And this is your podcast mentor show. But mainly, this is your year. This is your day. This is your week. And here, what we're doing on the your podcast mentor show We're helping you get positioned so that you can profit on purpose from your podcast. Peace and God bless.